Welcome to the Warning Show. I'm your host, Bob Warning Show host, and let's kick things off right away with the Warning Report from Jane Discretion Advised. Thanks, Bob. The most exciting news in the world of warnings comes from veteran warning creator Al Armist. You'll remember he was responsible for such popular warnings as contents under extreme pressure, not suitable for small children, and the 1987 warning of the year, this is not a toy. Well, Al's come up with a wonderful new concept, warnings for things that really don't need warnings at all. Some of his early releases include, this peach contains a pit that might choke your dog, flushing with your foot in the bowl could remove your shoe, and the ever useful, this is not a suppository. Bravo, Al. Thanks, Jane. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but we've overpadded this particular concept and it's time to get into the show. Just time for one last warning. If it hasn't got a warning, then it must be pretty boring. <laughs> now, here's the show with more warnings than it knows what to do with Cowboy. Who? Hey there, how's it going? Uh, well, we're back. Or, I'm back anyway. Uh, I'm all alone here now. Uh, you probably know uh, Smiling Tom found his brother. He's in Peterborough now. Uh, Phyllis won the election. She's queen of the universe. She's gone. Uh, Chips. I can't really explain. I don't really understand what's going on with Chip, but he's not really here. But uh, well, he might be back later. Uh, well. What it comes down to is, I'm all alone here, got really nothing to do, uh... Well, I guess maybe, uh... Yo! Yeah, yeah, Hey, there, Slim, Chip. wait a minute, yeah, wait, there's lots of stuff you could do. Uh, all those shows that Phyllis didn't want to see, you know, we had a Oh, man, them. I don't you know, I think we've seen any all any the one good ones. You could, uh... uh you could sing, uh, 99 bottles of pop on the wall! <laughs> uh, <laughs> dip, uh, Oh, Dip. Yeah, Chip and Dip. Yeah, you guys should get your own show with a name like that. It's a pretty good name for a show. Chip and Dip. That's nice. Ah, that's very clever. Yeah, it's not you bad. Chip that, and uh, Dip. Put something together. Yeah, yeah we might uh, go with yeah. something. That's, uh, that's a good idea. Well, we haven't got that ready now, though. I mean, well, uh, no. what else could you do? Uh, there's all the, all the mail. Why don't you go through some of the mail and read some oh, of yeah, the letters yeah, of the kids? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that, eh? Yeah. Yeah, okay, uh, all right, I'll right. do that. I'm just but going uh, to, don't forget, uh, I reconfigured the board, so it's not normal. Don't touch anything. Hey, cool cats. Don't miss the next teen routine! Dude! Hey man, I was just talking to Peggy, man. And there's something you gotta know. Dude? Her, her heart is broken, man. <laughs> it's broken yeah. in two or three pieces, man. And you gotta talk to her. Cause she's invested an awful lot in you, and you've invested a lot in her. Dude! Hey, this is no time to start playing those games, man. That's teen routine. Real teens really talking about their keen routines. The kind of teen things that real teens are really keen to talk about. Just the way real teens like you really talk. Hey, hurry up in there. That's teen routine. Oh, it's a quarter after, man. We're late. Sundays at 11 past 8. Couldn't you have thought of this earlier? Yeah, mail. Not a bad idea. I don't think we ever did mail on this show before. All right, so this is our mailbox. Uh, don't be put off by the picture. It's uh, not really a reflection of what we think of our letters. But yeah, look at this. People just send us like a big box full of mail here. So uh, let's see what we got. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. It says, yippee. I guess that's uh, in honor of uh, Smiling Tom. And that's uh, sent to us from uh, Martha Muffin from Vars. Uh, well, I'll just fold that one up later. Uh, oh, this is pretty interesting. Uh, it says, I love Cowboy Who. I guess it means I love, maybe I shot Cowboy Who through the heart with an arrow, maybe. And, oh yeah, this picture is uh, smiling. Uh, Tom, well, that looks like me, I guess, saying, uh, hi there, how's it going? Sally Polka Dot. Yeah, well, that's uh, sent to us by Kylie Sturmy Archer. Uh, sends us some kisses and hugs, too, by the looks of it. Thanks a lot there, Kylie. Uh, oh, yeah, here's a letter uh, addressed to me. It says, uh, Dear Cowboy Slim, I'm glad you're back on the show. Well, thanks. Uh, I like Smiling Tom and Sally Polka Dot too and Ho Hum. I have a question. What happened to the two hungry men in the woods in Rugged Road to Learning? Did they eat any of the children? I have to go now. Danny Ramsey, and he lives on uh, 53 Stanley Street. And I don't know where Stanley Street is. Could be pretty much anywhere in the whole world, really. Uh, well, Danny, that's a good question. I uh, wonder whatever did happen to those two hungry guys in the woods. Uh, let's just have a look. I'm telling you, no way I'm eating another stringy school oh, oh, oh. Another burning stick. You and your sticks. I'm hungry right now, and the roads are just covered with stupid frozen kids. I'll bet they're hanging around in the woods just waiting to be. Look, I'm just chewing on a burning oh, stick. Hanging around in the woods. Let's go. <laughs> oh! They're, they're not that stupid. Ooh, chewing a burning stick. Yeah, really, something. Uh, should like to see that again. You want to see better on your tiptoes? <laughs> That's a 30-foot hill. I don't see a lot around here in the way of provisions, man. Uh, let's go inside, Sonitas. Come on. Your wood's not going to last another 15 minutes. No let's way. go. Let's get out of here. I like it. Well, at least let's go get a school kit. All right. That was great. That was this plane crash and the mountains and then the survivors. Well, they all had to resort to... <gasps> Look! What? Look there. It's cannibals. Cannibals, see? Cannibals? There is. Cannibals in the road. They've seen us. We gotta, get, we gotta get off the road right now, hurry! They might ask us to sign oh. something. Let's All go. I've seen is, come on! Aaron! Let's move it, let's move it! Uh, okay, I guess. We're, we're just, we're climbing over there. that fence up there. Give me a break! And, uh, oh! Aww. Oh. Well, well, they won't see us. Yeah, right. Well, they won't follow us. Unless they're crazy! As if the come road on. isn't rugged enough. We can make it. I'm not going on! I'm not going on! <laughs> Wait a minute, the road was that way, wasn't no, it? The road that lost. way? So finally, some of them just struck out across the mountains on their own. Oh, amazing. Help hey! us! Oh, somebody help us! Help us! Help us! Help us! So I said to him, oh. Check it out, what do you make of that? I'll bet those hobos stole skidoos. Five bucks. Boom! Oh. Hobos and skidoos, eh? Sword, I, I won. Now pay up. Oh. I'm, I'm thinking of maybe bringing a lawsuit. Child abuse, you know? I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I thought there'd be lots of kids. Let's go here. back. I don't know. It was a great spot. Why don't you use your psychic powers and see if we can contact somebody? Yeah, good idea. Hey, that's no skidoo. Quick yell something. Oh, yell! Yell? Yelled, oh yell? Oh, that's all I could think of. Ah! Hey, it's enough with the yelling. Oh boy, Come on. we were oh, hungry. You guys coming. look good enough to eat. Let me tell you. Oh, 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 oh. Gee, my back. Hey, oh. That was like fun. Watch me. <laughs> Yay. Well, here, cold enough for your skirt. <laughs> you know, we nearly Get missed being here. eaten by cannibals. I told it's you true. what this could do. Cannibals look back there. It's true. I wouldn't have been on cannibals. Aren't oh, those children? She's the really cannibals had skidoos, out, isn't she? Well, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have a chance. They were just homeless, oh. with brains frozen. Mm. Well, this is it for us, so we're gonna go what? the rest of the way across country. Okay, see, you see you later. later. Bye. Bye. What are you talking about? Why can't we use the road? Be a wimp. 
Yeah, pretty rugged road today. What do you think? I don't recall learning much. And here they come, uh, Mother, as okay. I said. Now, uh, kids, how are you? Mm -hmm. Adam, wait, though. Nothing a good thrashing won't cure. All right, well, that's good, eh? That those kids got home safely. Uh, I was kind of afraid they were going to get eaten by those guys. But, uh, no, nah, I'm just kidding. I knew they wouldn't eat them. They always have happy endings on these things. Uh, anyway, it looks like I got time for one more letter. So let me just uh, pick something out. Okay, here we go. This says, uh, Dear Cowboy Who, I really like your show, especially the parts with Professor Dave. I really like Professor Dave because he likes animals, and I like animals too. When I grow up, I'm going to be a vegetarian. Well, I don't know if that's a mistake or not. Uh, it goes on to say, I have a question. Professor Dave said that he was going to leave the show to become a mime. Is this true or is it a joke? Sometimes I don't understand Professor Dave's jokes and I don't know if this is one of them. Your good friend, Nicholas Lode. That's Nicholas Code. And uh, it doesn't say where he's from. Uh, well, Nicholas, uh, I don't know. I really can't answer that question. Uh, well, let's just take a look at Professor Dave. We haven't seen him yet this week, eh? Maybe, uh, maybe we'll get a little bit more news on him. Just a second. Hello and welcome to Thinking About It, a thinking person's guide to the humor of Professor Dave, where we look at the collected works of this globe-trotting academic imposter and ask the age-old question, is it supposed to be funny? Think about it with Professor Dave. Episode 112, The Hippo Yarn. Of all the mysteries associated with Professor Dave, few have the abiding fascination of the incident that has come to be known as the Hippo Yarn. Regular viewers will recall that Dave was paying an uneventful visit to the Hippo Pool when without warning the following occurred. <sighs> Was this, as some contend, a brilliant example of Dave's talent for juxtapositional whimsy? Or was it a purely accidental event, prompted by <laughs> intense <laughs> boredom? <laughs> Contagious, that? <laughs> Hi, sorry to interrupt uh, Professor Dave there, although that didn't really seem like Professor Dave uh, the way no one loved. Uh, no, no, no. I... But uh, as we mentioned earlier, we look around for shows here in the galaxy to, uh, to put on for you, and I thought this was a good opportunity to drop in and uh, show you something we've uh, dug up that uh, might be of interest to you. Uh -huh. uh, actually, Dip found this one. It's, uh, yes, yes, yes. It's, it's one of my favorite programs. Uh, rather interesting. Uh... Well, we haven't got time for the whole program. In fact, we found a no, little no, promotional, no. Uh, promotional package they put together for it. So, uh, well, let's run that now. What's it called again? It's, uh, it's called Universal Kitchen. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll see, you'll I hope, see. I hope you're not eating your lunch while you're watching this. Ah, video. yes, good point. Good point. Uh, check this out. Universal Kitchen. Hello, it is me, regional Earth accent number 212, or as I call myself in some of my more conscious moments, Jeff Pierre. And welcome to Universal Kitchen. Today, we will be specializing in a particular uh, version of physiotech tubing that is found on Earth and is known as a craft dinner. Yes! Now, as you all know, the sunny skin must be applied before you start cooking anything from Earth because of the quarantines. Now, the problem, of course, with the sunny skins is that after 6,000 years of civilization, they have still not been it make it any better hours than it was when they first invented it in the dawn of time. We all know that uh, milk it comes from an earth animal called the cow. Now we have a picture of the cow, so we will show you the cow. All right, now that was the cow, and now we have uh, the milk from the cow. It is actually bodily fluids of the cow. Can you imagine? <laughs> 
I had to. Now, first of all, oh, I almost touched it with my hands. I had to. First of all, we take the clamp clamp thing here. We take it to make, come so, and we pour it into the bowl. And we pour a little in like that. Very good. And then we stir it all up. That's uh, good. Until it comes out like this. It's beautiful, no? Fool! Oh, what a fool! All right, I cook it now. I put it into the autre rêve. The autre rêve. Ah! 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 Very good. Nothing like a good little cooking from the ultra wave oven. Universal Kitchen. Watch it. Don't eat it. Hi there, so uh, we're back, but I guess you kind of figured that. Uh, we're going to be doing some auditions today, and well, this is the part of the show we're going to do them. Uh, we've got a couple of things, actually. Uh, some people sent in, um, some people sent in some, like, videotape stuff from home, and well, that's real good. I really like that myself, and uh, I mean it. Like, if you have anything funny, anything you think we might want to show on the air, Send it in, really, I mean it. I mean, you're probably looking at me thinking it's like a joke or something, but I mean it, like really. Send it in, we'll see what we can do, try to get it on the air for you, okay? Uh, got a few people sent in some stuff, we're gonna put some stuff on there. Uh, a little later on, uh, we'll get some people into the studio to audition. Uh, but anyway, first thing, uh, let's take a look at some of these videos, okay? Cowboy who audition tips. Slim, we have something great for you. I'm not doing it. What? I'm not doing it. What did you say? I'm not doing it. Hey, where are you going? But Dick, it was lousy. You're still on, right? No way, Philly. Right. Hey, you. This is our big chance. Cowboy who? Come on. This is really lame. Aw, oh, jeez. Come on, come on, come on, Yeah, we can sing. We're gonna sing now. Cowboy who, cowboy who, I should like to work for you. Okay, you you help Yellow them, Marky. You help them. Come on, come on, come on. Do it again. Oh, no. yeah, I'm Marvin, I know that's good. But, but, come on, let's get the little one doing it again. It was just a second ago. It was fantastic. It was singing clear as a bell. Talk about your Clement and Fina You can do it. Come on. Whoa, well, that's pretty interesting stuff. I kind of like that baby thing. Uh, okay, well, anyway, uh, I guess now it's time to actually bring some people into the studio. Now, you're probably thinking, when well, these guys are in outer space, you know, how is anyone ever going to get into the studio? Well, that's where these things come in. Now, any of you people sitting at home watching the show right now, if you're interested in auditioning, just think about it. And uh, with these things here, I'll be able to figure out who you down there on Earth, or actually pretty well anywhere else in the universe. Anybody who's thinking about auditioning, I'll be able to figure out who you are, and uh, well, I'll see what I can do about uh, bringing you into the studio, okay? So think hard. Well, I thought maybe I'd read a book. Oh, oh okay, great. Now, the first few times when it does this, she'll come. Are you all right? What, what's going on? <laughs> a fly. I brought. I brought oh. it with me. I'm sorry. Sorry. Probably. Yeah. Sorry. She complete the whole thing. Sorry. I'm sorry. 
I could uh, kill it if you oh, want. Uh, uh, no, it's okay. I'm really sorry. Oh, all right. Um, let me answer your question by this way. Um, you get it? Yeah. Hey, hey you all right? You don't look, you don't look so good. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Uh, I think I better send you home now, okay? Uh, I'm just going to beam you back. Uh, maybe you should just get someone to take a look at that, okay? Okay. Okay, uh, see you later. Thanks a lot. Bye. Good evening, and tonight I would like to read to you a selection of poems by Nargon Zreb of Sector 27, which he wrote during some delicate surgery on his verbiage. The first one I've chosen is called Toilet Plunger. Oh, toilet plunger, toilet plunger, tis no tool that's better. Sedate when all around you's dry, but active when it's wetter. Oh, I thrust you deep into the fray, and you emerge a winner. Easily an ample match for any chilly dinner. Oh, gee. And here's another one you might not like. Oh, uh, no, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Where am I? Well, uh, you're in a TV studio. Uh, my name's Cowboy Slim. Oh, I'm at the audition. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Right. All right, well, what'll I do? What'll I do? Um, 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 um. Well, I can sing. I can sing. What'll I sing? What'll I sing? Come on, come on, Dwelfer, think, think. What can you sing? I know. <coughs> feelings. Oh, 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 feelings. <laughs> I can do impressions. You want to see one? All right, here we go. This takes lots of concentration. <clears throat> I just got to get ready here. Jean-Luc Picard. Make it so. All right, hey, hey, it's Mr. Gustopoulos, my landlord. Slim, you are three months late for your end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got to go. Bye. What's off? What light through yonder window breaks? Tis the yeast, and Juliet is the bun. Oh, actually, Arise you know, this is a comedy show uh, but, we're doing but, here. But I'm not finished. Oh, yeah, you oh. are. Whoa, man. So, uh, I guess you're here to audition, eh? I would like to audition for the role of your credits. Uh, credits? You, you mean, like... Words, the mm -hmm. show. Yes, let me demonstrate. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Actually, uh, you know, it's pretty impressive what you're doing and all, but uh, we don't really need to uh, hire anybody to do our credits. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can do it myself, no problem. Hmm. I was under the impression that the credits were the most difficult part of the program. No, no, it's a cinch. Just just typing, basically. Hmm. Uh, no, you know, thanks a lot for uh, coming down and everything, but I think we'll just do our credits uh, in that old-fashioned way. Oh, well. All right. Goodbye. Yeah.